I'm curious, Jeff, so how, you know, what would, in, in your sort of idealized world, right, what, what would that role of the market be and sort of where, how, how do you see the, those limits of inequality? Where, what, what would you want to do about it and how, how would you know that inequality was, was too great? Well, first of all, let me say I am a believer in capitalism. I'm a believer in the free market. I uh, have recently written a book which is, uh, I'm sure you'll love this, a Marxian defense of capitalism. Um, <laughs> You think that's logically impossible, right? Mm. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, I believe in it. I believe that the, the main contribution that comes from the market, and this is a moral thing, is uh, uh, dramatically increasing the, standard, the material standard of living of people. I think this has been going on now for a long time. I think it's going on globally now because of the spread of capitalist reforms. Uh, it's going on constantly in America, even in the face of inequality. I agree that the poor are better off now materially uh, than they were 20 years ago, than 40 years ago. Here's one statistic which I just really love. In 2009, 82% of Americans below the poverty line had air conditioning. Think about that, you know. And imagine what they had 20 years ago or 40 years ago, okay. You know, so that's a way in which capitalism is working. But, I mean, that's very general, okay? That is across the board. It doesn't quite get to individuals like the kid in that movie, okay? There, I think that the question are questions about discrimination, about poor education, um, and related ideas like that, which I don't think you can just exclude the role of government there somehow because uh, dogmatically. Maybe government, uh, maybe government can be replaced, Maybe not. I think that we've had a welfare system which treats people as the objects of uh, charity and has treated them in a very condescending way and that contributes to dependence. I'm all for changing that. Okay? But, you know, I'm not worried about the dignity of, of charitable givers. I'm worried about the recipients who think, you know, only because of the kindness of these more successful people do I get it. It's not because I, I deserve it you know, that the society owes me some kind of uh, fair share. Jeff, and I want to give, give Steve a chance well, to yeah, respond sure. real quick Just and then re wrap re it up. Course. Real quick, I think the only comment I'd make there is the assertion that government isn't the solution to these problems or, or perhaps isn't necessary, for me, is not a dogmatic assertion. It's an empirical question. Has government worked at these things? Can it work at these things? That's the question. And I think it's got a more mixed answer. It's worked some and worked and failed some. So let's make it work more.